Good morning to you. It's a new day. It's a new, new dawn. dawn. It's a new life. And I'm feeling me. good. And I'm feeling good. Da dum da dum da dum da dum da dum da dum da 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 dum. Woo! I'm still going to do it. Fading it out. Good morning. It's a new week. Esther is already here. We have actually filmed a sit down video together. Our first and potentially last. <laughs> I interviewed Esther, your questions. Um, and that is the start of the week, but I thought you'd enjoy the start of the week being the glorious Esther. The theme of this week is rage, because I've woken up with raging PMT and I expect it to last the entire week. Mm. This morning, hang on, I'm gonna just rest my arm here. This morning, I almost, I almost committed murder with a pair of tights because it's just so rageful. You get the rage, don't All you? All the time, all the time. I live with rage, constantly. Constantly, it's just hard work. Everything, the whole, but everything. I just get the rage at one week of the month, but are you just raging the whole I live livid all the time. <laughs> I live on, in a state of lividness. You contain it very well, you contain it well. You're not crying over your tights first thing in the morning, are you? I cried over um, scrambled egg this morning. Did you? Yeah, I cried over that. I cried over the fact that um, I couldn't get my children to brush their teeth. Yeah. Very hard to do. It's been there. Very been hard there. to do. Just basic things really, like getting them to eat, brush their teeth, get the shoes on, that kind of thing. Is it your children that cause you the most rage, yes. would you say? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's a strange emotion because it's the most rage and the most love. Yes. It's like a conflict. Yes. All the time. Yes. Yeah. Conflict. Mine is definitely a chemical rage this week, you know, like hormones, because everything is getting to me. That like that time I went on a website to buy I wanted to buy a necklace with L on it and they had sold out of all the L's. <laughs> This was like Monica, what was it, Monica Bernardo, is that what yeah. you call it? And I rang Esther and I felt like that the website was mocking me and I was so angry. Yeah, and I really thought that they'd done it on purpose to upset me. And I reassured you that I didn't think that was the case, <laughs> but I could understand how you felt. <laughs> it was perfectly logical. And so then I got a text later on that evening saying I, I really didn't think that actually. I, I didn't <laughs> think it was the website. <laughs> Did. Right, that's the start of the week. It's going to be a great week this week, aside aside from the low level rage. Um, yeah, see you shortly. Bye. Bye. I am feeling a little bit hormonal today. Not really feeling too good mentally, which isn't like me because for a long time I've been very like up and stable, but today I'm feeling quite low. Should I pop you there? So, yeah. I have shut my laptop and I've come to Waterstones. I absolutely love Waterstones, it's so calming. Um, and I'm going to buy some nice books for the girls. Um, maybe me as well, actually. I also absolutely adore all the Judith Kerr books. We actually have most of them. <laughs> um, but I still come and look at them. The Tiger That Came to Tea is my all-time forever favourite. So much so, I've actually bought the board book for Darcy when she was a baby. This, this version. And I've also bought one for Pearl. So they both have their own one to keep for when they're older. Rather than all the other books, obviously, they just share. Um, I love it. I love the Mog books. What about you? She's like, yeah, yeah, I like books too. And I'm going to pick some stuff from here. I've just seen all the Ina Blyton ones. What ages would you say Ina Blyton is good for? Because I used to love it as a kid. I picked up this, just because it's a seven-year-old's really. I'm like, oh great, that's the right level. I don't know, I think Ina Blyton are really fun. Maybe some Roald Dahl. Could read it together. Okay, apparently The Secret Seven is a perfect introdu introduction for new readers. So, I mean, looking at that, I think that's should be capable of that. Let's look at this and see if she's enthused. Let's face it, though, it'll probably be one of those things where I'm like, Darcy, got this really exciting thing, and she'll just give give zero for it. Um, but you know, I'll I'll be into it. So I'll bring the enthusiasm to the table as always. Looks like a ricey armadillo covered in diarrhea. Tastes like glory. Have you ever seen a car covered in grass? Now you have. They say the grass is always greener. Do you like that one, babe? Yeah, that's a nice one. A rolling stone gathers no moss, which is yeah. similar to grass. Yeah. Think of any of this? No, he's uh, hedging his bets. Hedging his bets. Yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice. Um, you reap what you sow. Yeah, any of this? Dun dun da 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 da
Don't. I said I was going to be saying this or not. Oh, oh. You're okay. Serious. Get out of shot, okay? Get out of shot. Okay. Hi guys, so Emma has arrived here, she is. Hi, hi, lovely to see you. Hi, yeah, you're right. Um, now we're going to see Dan and Phil's introverted extroverts I'm tonight. To you, I'm to you. Are you alright? <laughs> what the hell was that? I'm trying. What was that? What was that? You were Because I'm really that? trying to be so sensitive. That was so, so weird. I'm trying to be really sensible. I'm going to you. see it and I'm. I'm yeah. Quite cash about it. Yeah, you're really cash about it. <laughs> really cash. Didn't want it. I'm really excited. Um, was the more make offensive to people to with demons? demons. <laughs> to people with oh, demons. demons. Um, this is actually my birthday present to Emma, who had a birthday in December, but I was heavily with child at the time, and she said, "All I want is tickets to Danfield show." Now, I won't lie to you, I've got them for free because I know someone. You know, I know someone that works at the show. So. I've also got you. It's Dan and Phil. That's it. <laughs> yeah. uh, this card. No, don't. don't when you spit, spit this on. This card. When you spit card, on. Thank you. Don't touch the spit. Oh, it's not even a birthday card. With... No, it's not. But I love it. But that's good. Yeah. Because yeah. it's not my birthday anymore. Oh my god. Batteries. Oh my god. Yeah. We've got it. Okay. Two decks as well. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Okay. Why am I opening this? <laughs> Bye bye. bye bye. This is a present. It's very you. It's very me. So na, na, it's just na, kind na, of na, like a na, thick na, blonde. Na, na, na. Soup. Yeah. Soup. Soup. I'm sensing it's a mug. <gasps> I nearly like bought this and big, big mugs in a can out loud. I nearly bought this and I thought, no, it's frivolous and I didn't. Well, call me frivolous because look what else I bought you. Because oh, okay. the battery's going to go. If, if we just cut out, that's why. Go with your mug collection. <gasps> mug, mug cakes, cakes and more. And more? Mug cakes oh, and I more. love it. Thank you. Can you I can... give you your birthday present? Yes. I'm gonna start off with. I'm gonna start off. With, should I give this five minutes of charge, or should we just do it now and quick? Quit. It's gonna go from rubbish to best. Brilliant. Worse. Okay, worse. Is it a candle? Yeah. That's not rubbish. That is it's cute. Brilliant. It's a cute candle. Oh, Lemon curd. Nine quid for a candle. You push the boat out there. Oh my god. Oh my god. I want to like lick that with the back of my it? tongue. Graduating slightly better. <laughs> it's a frame. It's got our favourite picture in! <laughs> <laughs> now this yeah, yeah. is a joke one, but I think you'll love it. Oh, happy birthday to <laughs> me! <gasps> yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, it's a got to Fine China! <laughs> With the royal bard of it, of royal China! Why has it got two? Why has it got two? We can share a drink together! Bit weird, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, then, and then there's a card, but you don't need to see the card, but there's a card. Oh, card. have you written a really emotional message inside? I, I think you might cry. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, you need to just make words again. <laughs> Happy birthday, weirdo. Happy birthday. Here is to another year of tat hauls, FaceTime in bras and pants, and much, much more. <laughs> Love you lots. <laughs> MC Erin and Ethan. <laughs> Thank I was like, thanks. <laughs> thanks. 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 I love you. <laughs> we have arrived in a multi story car park that we've parked, I think, maybe in a forbidden space because look the doors right here it's not a disabled space no it's but, not because we checked and there was nothing there's no i think it's just permit. a dream but i think it's just the space of dreams i don't understand why more people aren't parked in here i don't understand i think we might have messed up what oh my god what if we get back and it's all shut down and we can't get the car out then there'll be a solution and that'll be fine we'll get some sort of taxi home everything so will be we're fine we're in Milton Keys we're in Mumbai yeah, we everything. can get we can get home quite quick we're not miles away i know but i worried <laughs> that the car is gonna be trapped in here <laughs> for Overnight. Doesn't it finish at like half nine? It's not it's not like a three o'clock affair. So we've got fourteen minutes before we get to the car, to the door. I feel frazzled. You know I don't like to drive. I think you did quite well to be honest. I mean you did, did shout, you... you really swore at your sat nav. <laughs> yeah. Like really aggressive. Were you Why won't you turn off? With with swear words peppered in. <laughs> Was were any time were you afraid? No, I've seen you worse. In the car? Not in the car, no, just in life. Just in general. <laughs> Are you looking forward to the theatre show? I love the theatre, that's my thing this year, go to the theatre. I'm going to the theatre tomorrow as well. I know. What's the theatre, what's the person called that goes to the theatre a lot? Theatre goer. Yes, the theatre goer. <laughs> I'm a theatre goer. You are, you are? Yeah. We're not allowed to film any of the show, so I'll just have we to tell you. We could reenact it in the car on the way back. 
yes. sections. Maybe. Well, anyway, I'll link it below because it's not fully sold out. It's not. Some, there's some seats left in various locations. Ooh. Introverted extroverts or extroverted intro. I think it's introverted extrovert. Yeah, the Dan and Phil show. That's what I'm calling it. Yeah. That's not what it's called, though. If we were going to be Dan and Phil, who would be here at who? <laughs> um, I'm worried we would offend any Dan and Phil fans for yeah, whatever we say. Yeah. Sometimes, I, I was once asked who would I leave my baby with, Dan or Phil, if I had to babysit. Yeah. I'd pick Phil. I mean, I don't really know them, but is Phil more... I think that Phil would just be less terrified and would like deal with the situation better than Dan, who would just be like... He looks like he's got a kind soul. They're both kind. Mm. Um... I wouldn't leave my children with you for the time. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Emma just told me she wants to hold my hand because <laughs> she loves me. I I'd let you hold. Actually, I wouldn't. I don't like to be touched. So I think this is the theatre that I've driven us to. I think, but I can't be fully sure. I'm not seeing anybody with whiskers on. You know how that's Dan and Phil's thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. The whiskers. I made it. Yet. I made it. Oh. oh hello. hello. Sorry to bother you again. That's all right. Oh. Five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, in between 10 and oh, 10. Oh, right, sure. Okay. Thank you. Now you're free. Da 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 just as bad as it ends up being, yeah. or good, depending on what kind of person It's all up for the audience, including Louise, so we'll blame you if it all goes wrong. Nudity. You're going to be heckling us. You would, you'd be surprised. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited! Oh, oh, oh lovely. Yes. In the car, me and Emma did, Hello. who would you be? Get in, get in. Get who in. Would, who get would be in. who? Who would be Dan and who would be Phil out of us two? Yeah, what did you decide? Well, we Look. went on hikes, I thought, God, we're going to offend people, if, like, how yeah. do we do it? You couldn't do so it. So I was you because I'm taller. I was you because I'm a bit But then we did, who would, I, we who would I leave my baby with to babysit? Yeah. Not me. Who do you think I chose? That I think he chose Dan. I'm too clumsy. I'm You're very babies. sweet. You're just clumsy. I am. I would drop and the baby. Plus, as we know from our last video, I know what a perineal massage is. Oh, really? I felt like you would be a better qualified. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I thought Dan would just freak out and yeah. leave. Yeah, I'd say perineal massage too much. Yeah. Stop saying that. <laughs> do you know what? It didn't matter anyway because I still tore. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, two spots I tore. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it was really. I couldn't walk probably for six weeks. What? Yeah, it's healed up now. That's just going to be in my head when I'm on stage now, thinking about well, yeah. tearing. Well, I'm going to tell you the details in a second. So we've got a lovely, lovely security man who's... I'm, just, I'm not going to put my face around. Hello. It's a full theatre. Also known as Dance Matt and the Amazing Phil. Good morning. It is, wow, it is bright, is what it is. Let's pop me here. So it is Tuesday, and it turns out that the show I went to see yesterday was not called Introvert Extroverts, it's called Interactive Introverts. So I know lots of you will be like, oh my god, you went to a show and you called it the wrong name. I did, I did, I called it the wrong name. Now though, we are packing up, it's about 10 o'clock, I've done the school run, I've had some food, done my emails, I've done no tidying, which I was planning on doing because I'm doing um, a job for Waitrose later on, filming for them, whoop, whoop, whoop. But now we're going to brunch in Milton Heens because Dan and Phil are there because of their tour, so I'm gonna go and introduce them to Pearl. I'm really, really hoping that they are a bit late because I am a bit late. Parking was so difficult. Milton Heens Shopping Centre, please. When are you going to sort the parking out in the Debenhams because loads of it's blocked off and you can't get to the spaces and I find this highly stressful. So I'm parked on the roof and the view is beautiful. I will show you it. I have got a good spot though because nobody can be car friends with me here because this is not allowed to be parking. Okay, so maybe it's not quite as exciting as I thought it was gonna be, but still, it's a view. Are you excited to meet new friends? Made it. Went to sit like this on this sofa casually and the whole sofa moved and I missed. People definitely saw, definitely. Um, I'm just waiting for them to pop out. They were at the other entrance, Debenhams. Um, I'm looking in the viewfinder, I think my foundation looks a bit... Yeah, I'm trying a new foundation at the moment, and I really hate it. It's the Tarte Shape Tape one. I think I'm just gonna go back to my oldie but goldie, because I don't like it. Oh, da, 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 the baby. Look at your blue eyes. Say hi, guys. 
Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> stock photo beautiful baby. I know. I know. She's like gorgeous. Some people, oh my god. Eyelashes. She's gorgeous. I should be Rosie filming you, not the baby, but I'm just like, the guys. baby. What's I've told happening? her. I've warned her. You warned her. Yes. We're a bit intense. She's I'm, like, I'm mommy. actually shocked by how beautiful that baby is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a squish with her soon if you like. Look, she's put on a little dress especially for Aww. you. Oh, just for us? You look yeah. great. You're working it. You're working You're it. <laughs> Do you get that reaction every uh, time? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Are you ever just like looking at your own hands like, wow. The mic. It kills me that you have a finger on the mic like this. I don't use this. What do you use to vlog? A phone. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Sorry. So shaky. Pearl's got a new friend. Look at this. <laughs> How does that feel? Oh. Comforting. Joy and human yes, touch. I know. Yeah. Oh. Are you trying to oh. eat me? That's yeah. okay. You, you no, bite. no. <laughs> Have you like recently washed your hands? I think she's very confused by my face. What are glasses? What is this person? Are you confused, Pearl? Yeah. She's like, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, hi. <laughs> Look at this stack, have you seen that like that is, it's structural it's a integrity? Work of art. Yeah. yeah, it's like got like pillars. It's better than a building in most places. When Phil does breakfast, wow. he does this breakfast. This is how I do I've, breakfast. You've gone for pancakes, I've gone for the rancheros. Rancheros. What is what this? What is that? It looks like dip. Basically, I'm it's living right through. Just dip. Just, <laughs> just a big dip. Just blend just all your breakfast into a dip. Yes. It's just breakfast blend. <laughs> oh, I'm alright, thanks. Can you get the bill? Yes. Thank you. How, how are you finding this? Great. <laughs> Pearl's like, uh. <laughs> Why does she have a glittery head? <laughs> I think Darcy might put glitter. Oh. <laughs> She's like, how dare you? You're a large human. So are you. Is that good, babes? You're doing well. Millions of girls are jealous of Pearl right now. Do you feel able to pass to Phil? Oh no. Just feel like that's a bad idea. I feel like, 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 like we're <laughs> 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 No. no. <laughs> You can do it, you can do it. So hold her under the armpits, hold her under the armpits. Just make sure you've got hold of her. I've got hold of her. I'm one hand under the butt, under the butt. And flip. Oh no. There we go. Do you want to pull her dress down a bit? Give her some dignity. Have some dignity. Oh, what do you <laughs> she's looking like, I don't like, know. What is going on? I don't know. Don't cry. Oh, she's gripping on. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> I feel a bit emotional actually. This yeah. is just going to be taken out of context for Dan and Phil adopted a baby <laughs> fan fictions. Baby. Oh no, not my baby. Oh no. You are my baby. Louise will kick you in the shit. Yes. I will, I so will. Good one, though. Well done on making her. Oh, thank you. I'm just like constantly filming her. I should really be like, oh. That was so nice. They are such, such good eggs. I feel like I can say this with absolute confidence. They have not been like ruined by the oh, fame of their success. They're just such good, good boys. Pearl agrees. Pearl's like, yeah, I liked them a lot. Now we're going out to the car and we're going home. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? Don't you do 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 do? Don't you do 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 do? Don't you wish your girlfriend was a freak like me? Don't you? I'm so tired. Good morning. Since I care so much about my outward appearance, as you can tell, Chloe's come around to do my nails. Now, Chloe, come here, I have a question for you. Oh, right, as you can see, Chloe is a very beautiful woman. Oh, she her. is, like, in the beauty scene. You like oh, the yeah. beauty? Yes, yes. What did you think of Sharp? 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 <laughs> I'm tart. I was thinking I had no idea what you were going to shape concealer. Tape. Tape. The concealer? No, good. not the concealer foundation. Horrible. Yeah, I'm not. I've been testing it. I mean, this is yes, though. I've got it on today, actually. Mine just goes patchy. Yeah, you have, have to do like one it. side of your face. Can't and then blend the other side. it. Yeah, no. And I just look horrible in it. I'm really yeah. disappointed. Same. Because the concealer's great, though. Yeah, the concealer's great and the mascara's great. So I'm not bashing tart. Just the. Just the I had high hopes. hopes. Yeah, my hopes, hopes, high, hope, high. Oh, wow. What the hell's wrong with me? Ready? Ready? And glide, 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 yes. 
Pearly girl's up from her nap and she's watching CBeebies. I've never like intentionally put the TV on for her. She's just sort of like seeing the TV in the background of our lives. And she's like loving it. Look, it's so cute. Is it good, Pearl? <laughs> are you enjoying it? You are so cute. You are so cute. Yeah, you are. Yes, you are. Guess who's put a bra on and some brows on? Me, I have. Um, I am feeling a li little bit more ready for the day. I'm gonna go and pick up Liam's dry cleaning and do a few errands. Um, like I need to get some like hair bubbles for brown hair and such like, su such, such like that. Brilliant. Um, also, <laughs> the reason I've turned the camera on is I wanted to let you know that I am touring in May, touring big time, two venues, um, because my paperback for Wild Like Me is out on the 17th of May. So, if you would like to come and meet me, I'll be wearing a bra and my brows, so, you know, you'll be, it's going to be quite the event. I will be um, doing Birmingham and London on the 23rd and 24th of May. I'll put the details below. Um, they'll be at Waterstones, is, like the Waterstones of Birmingham, the Waterstones in London. All the details below, but I would absolutely love to see you there. Have a chat, have a selfie, that kind of thing. Um, it will be really nice and I'll try not to say really awkward things, which I will most likely do to at least 70% of you. Um, yeah, so I would absolutely love to see you. I haven't done like a event for since Hello World and before that since the summer. So I haven't been doing a lot lately because I was pregnant and all that. So it would be really nice basically to be like back out there. Back out in the big wide world. I'm not going to make a song out of it. I'm just going to go and pick up Liam's dry cleaning and do some errands. She's so exciting. So excited. She's sicked up on herself. She was like, oh my god, mum's doing some events. What? That's exciting. We've arrived at my least favourite shopping centre of all time and the reason it's my least favourite shopping centre is because, I don't know if you can really get a sense of that, but the parking is horrible, but God was shining down on me from on high and look, no parking buddy on this side, no parking buddy on this side. I've got, I found a three -er and I've gone in the middle and I'm so happy about it. There's no parent and baby spaces, obviously there never are, um, and I'm going to hope and pray that no I don't get a parking buddy on the left hand side because that's the side I keep Pearl on and it's really hard to get the car seat in but just wanted to share with you the joy. I know that some of you will be like I understand that joy. Even if you don't have kids to get out on either side it's just joyous to find a car parking space and just go jump instead of having to do this and then you get really stressed because every, everyone behind you is waiting and creeping forward and you think just give me some space just give me some space and it's just really stressful and sometimes you just abandon it and go and park like eight miles away from where you need to go but not today. Okay, go and get the dry cleaning. <laughs> I'm just in boots and I was thinking about getting this for Darcy so she can have, it's like a one-off spray in colour because she absolutely loves things like that for her hair. And then I look across and who is it? It's my snoozy. Hello, this is Katie Snooks. You should go and follow her. She's amazing. She does lookbooks and fashion and style and lifestyle. And she is a wonderful woman. But look, she's famous. Liam didn't tell me about five suits I've picked up and I'm trundling along with. Right, I've got his shoes here. Reheeled shoes, got his suits, baby's asleep, and now we're going to the post office. I think it's an ASOS order for me. Yay! I'm in the downstairs loo. I've just taken a pregnancy test. I had a baby 16 weeks ago, so it's not great timing to be pregnant again, but if I am, and I am, the babies are a blessing. Um, I don't know why I'm so scared because I've been so careful, so there's no, I mean, if I'm pregnant, I'm like a machine, or Liam's like a machine. Oh, I'm still doing the timer. Wow, that is the longest little timer ever. Okay, I'm just gonna put it back down again and not really focus on this. 
if I'm not pregnant, this will go in the weekly vlog. If I am pregnant, this will become part of my next round of pregnancy videos, I guess. <sighs> I'm gonna check it again, I'm gonna check it again. Still the timer, my God. <sighs> Feels like a million years ago since I went to the toilet. Still the timer, still the timer. My God, this is tense. This is so tense. <laughs> so these are the flowers we have in the loo. Let's do a bathroom tour. There's the sink with mint soap and Coca-Cola soap. That's where we store some coats. There's a book. I like that book. Sarah Millican, How to Be Champion. There's an art print. That's me, there's some loo roll. Why is this still doing this? Just the timer. <sighs> Not pregnant. <laughs> Great. Oh, obviously, if I had been pregnant, I would have been like, I'm so happy. That's a happy blessing. Not pregnant. Woo! Okay. Don't need to feel worried that I gave my maternity jeans to charity last month. Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> oh, that's a weight of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a weight off my mind. <laughs> great, great. I'm gonna text a picture of this to Liam and we're all gonna go about our days. I'm gonna have a bagel, I'm gonna have a seated bagel. There we go, that's a bit better. The lighting all day, if it's been a bit out, I'm sorry, it's, um, I've had it on a funny setting. I've had it on the wrong setting. I bet every time he's like, I'm on the right setting and then just filming my tits. Now you get a baby. Um, yeah, it's 3.30 and I'm trying desperately to get on with an edit that I want to put up tonight. Um, but I've got this one on my lap and then this little guy, this little guy down here, that's Orbit. Um, and it's one of those edits where I have to look through, I want to add in some clips from like months ago. So I need to look through this <clears throat> for old clips. It's just taking a really long time and I think it's unrealistic. Can you want to be seen, do you? There you go. I think it's unrealistic to expect that it's going to be finished and uploaded by five because in a minute I'm going to have to like deal with her. She won't sit here for very long, obviously. She needs entertaining and such. So feeling like a bit frustrated about that, but it's hard to be frustrated when you're being so lovely. So <sighs> it's a miracle that I get two to three videos up a week. It really is. It really is. Um, so that's where we're at. I'm just trying to like work but this is basically how I work most days like with this and this remember ages ago I said that I was hiring a nanny I have hired one she currently works it's working out to be about one day every fortnight because she's working for another family at the moment but then she finishes working for that family at the end of May so in June I'm gonna have three days a week of support so that'll be really good because you'll have constant attention yes and mummy can get some work done, and then on non-nanny days you have me all to yourself and I won't do work. No, because I'll be caught up. Yes. That's a good system. And she's so cute, isn't she? I'm uploading my video, and then we're going to go out for a little walk, aren't we? Liam's home. So we're going to go out for a little walk. We need to go and buy some more nappies. And also, we might stop in our little village pub and have a little drink, a little date, but with you, yes. Yes, you can't have a drink. Well, you can. We'll be taking your milk with us. Yes. Oh, that's some excitement there. That's some real excitement. Yes. You do it again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's so excited. Yes. <laughs> Look at this little sleepy babe. Yes! Look, it's gone seven o'clock and it's still blue skies. We've come to a little pub garden and you've come to you know your bedtime feed outside. Al fresco. Yes, al fresco dining. Good morning, it's <coughs> Thursday and you're blurry. Let me help you out with that, mon petit poise. There we go, there we go. So, good morning. It's Thursday. Now you're not blurry. Um, I've got loads of things to tell you. I'll do a list. Number one, the rage seems to have subsided. I think knowing that I'm not pregnant makes all the difference and I'm just going to put 
this like weird cycle blip down to the fact that I only had a baby 16 weeks ago so my body is kind of still out of whack. Number two is I am embracing a tucked in vest today. Gonna demonstrate what I mean. So this looks okay but what you can't see is that this is my like this is where I feel most insecure this like the fact that it bumps out this like pouchy pouchy bit it was always big then I had Darcy and it got bigger and I didn't do anything about it then I had Pearl obviously like I'm still postpartum and it didn't get any better so what I usually do is have tops sort of like coming over and hanging out so it hides that like scoochy poochy bit but today I just thought no I don't want to I don't want to live in this prison of my own body I'm just gonna wear this I'm wearing the cardigan as like a little bit of a shield I suppose like a comfort but I'm gonna get to a point where I'm gonna be like hi guys here I am du, du, du. um so feeling a bit excited about that I'm about to go to soft play um with my friend Elena and her little girl Lily and Pearl obviously but Pearl's napping so I thought I'm gonna film a little intro to a video just here I'm working with Waitrose at the moment <laughs> literally hashtag brand goals you know how I feel about Waitrose so when that came through I was like <sighs> almost weeping with joy um and I need to film an intro and an outro to a routine video that I shot on Tuesday and usually I would film in my bedroom but Pearl's having a nap in there so I think I'm just going to sort of pop you just there what do you think to this it's like a little I'll obviously tidy up a bit that's nice or does it look like I'm at like an old-fashioned um hairdressers you know where they put the things on you maybe if I zoom it a bit when this goes live when my waitress video <gasps> that's very nice when my waitress video goes live could you go over there I'm gonna move like the deodorant out of the way and say I love the new setup or I love your filming spot and I'll know that you came from this segment right I'm gonna film that intro now because I'm trying to edit it before soft play this morning it's all blooming go isn't it so much to do so much to do so much to say da -da -da -da. what's that from i don't know right i'm gonna film my intro you'll next see us I'll soft play. i'm making the most of this bear <laughs> i'm basically just fully reclined <laughs> mummy's having some soft time at soft play oh I might have a little sneeze. Do you want to swap? As in children? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant, do I want to take the baby back? No. I was like, yeah, yeah. No. I'll, I'll keep the oh, <laughs> this one's much easier than my big one. Yeah. <laughs> this Me one doesn't too. talk. Not Wait till seven. She is loving it. Lily was giving her a little little big push enough. on it. Oh, <laughs> she quite liked it. Is that fun, my love? Look at this little footsies! Oh, jewel socks. <laughs> you love a pair of jewel socks. She doesn't wear her jewel socks today. Oh, you lied. You said you only dress her in jewel socks. Oh dear, injury. I've been chatting away and I look back and look, it's just like Zonko. <laughs> Do you know what's quite difficult? It's doing a voiceover when you're looking after a little baby who doesn't want to have a little sleep. I've been battling with that this afternoon. Um, I'm making a video for Waitrose. I know I mentioned this earlier, I'm very excited about it. Um, and I really want it to be like the best video I've ever made, but I'm really struggling because obviously I'm prioritizing Pearl um, and I don't have any childcare today um, or yesterday, but I've got some help tomorrow, which is good, but the video has to be in today. So, um, I don't know, I'm feeling like I wish that I could, I I've said this so many times, but I wish I could work to my full potential, but I feel like to work to my full potential would be at the detriment of mothering to my full potential. So obviously mothering comes first, but that doesn't stop me from feeling sometimes a little bit professionally frustrated. I'm going into the lounge now to see if she'll have a little bit of a snooze whilst I finish off the edit because it's half four now and I've got to send it over really by the end of the day, which is like half five-ish. Um, I tell you what, I would really appreciate it if when that video goes up, you do give it a little bit of support or love, just something like a friendly comment um, or something like that would be really great because 
these things matter a lot and obviously when brands work with you they look at things like engagement and did people enjoy the video and would they like to work with you again and I don't know I'm just feeling a bit like oh oh this is so hard to juggle two big things it's so hard oh it's so delicious to be clear I'm not in the least bit frustrated with her no because you're so lovely it's just that the juggle struggle I think a lot of us can relate to that can't we do you look like you want a nap because I don't think you do <laughs> I don't think you do look like you want a little sleep right I'm going to do that and then Liam will be home and then I'd quite like to go for another walk tonight because it was really nice just to go out for an hour and just get a bit of fresh air and exercise I'm trying to um up my step count each day yeah let's try for a nap you know how I said earlier I wanted to show you some things that I've bought off Amazon. I want to show you two things. So you might have noticed them in videos or you know out and about around my house. I have bought a metal straws. Um, I use straws every day. I don't like to drink fizzy drinks without straws and I really like to have a can of Diet Coke every day. Sometimes two. I know that's so bad. I'll talk about that another day. Um, so I started to feel really guilty for all the straws I was using and then I started seeing so much stuff on social media about how bad plastic straws are for our oceans. So I popped onto Amazon and I bought these. It came in a set of four and there's also a little squeegee that goes in and like cleans the insides which I don't use, I just sort of like run water through them. And I will say at first it was really weird using these because it felt weird to have something metal in your mouth whilst you were like sucking. Don't take that to a dirty place. Um, but I've got used to them now, and the way I look at it now is, I don't use plastic knives and forks every day. I use metal knives and forks, and they're like food tools. Well, this is just a drink tool. Um, they also do silicone ones, but I sometimes think that like silicone things pick up the flavor of things. Like, I don't know, I just would prefer metal. Um, and obviously so much better for the environment. And the second thing, the second thing, a golden scooter. You might think that an adult might not need a, a Scoot Pro X50 from Amazon in gold, but I do, because Darcy has one, and now I can be the funnest mum ever. That wasn't my best demo. That was not, <laughs> that was not my best demo. I'm going to do some good demoing from various angles and speeds. Okay, I don't fall over. I'm not going to. Con gladiators, ready! Contestants, ready! Three, two, one! Whoa! Whoa! It's so hard! Oh my god, it's so hard! There is a brake on it, but I haven't mastered the brake because it's like a foot brake. Oh, Liam's gone round the corner. We're going to be fighting over this and thinking about getting this another one. It was 49. 99 which usually I just use Amazon for like little things like under a ten of things but this was definitely a worthwhile purchase I've also got a gold helmet and it matches Darcy's little kid scooter that she's got so we can all have like family scoot days I've lost Liam it's just me and the bait oh he's coming back he's coming back there's some sweet moves babe do a trick, a trick. yeah Oh, yes, that was internet gold. <laughs> That'll go viral. <laughs> well, you don't know what you're missing out on. I can't wait till you're a big girl and you do this. Woo! I freaking love this. I'm gonna give you some thoughts on the scooter. I think we need to give the scooter a name. So if you've got a name for it, give it below. I can't decide. If it's a boy or a girl, I don't mind either way. I love it so much, it's really good exercise. It's got good suspension. I'm a heavy woman and, you know, it supports my weight. So if you're a bit of a chunk like I am, then you could still get one. The handles feel soft. I haven't really mastered the brakes yet, I will say. But also, you do a big push and like you go quite a long way. You get a lot of bang for your buck in terms of like push power. I know what I mean. Right, <laughs> yes, I'm a 33 year old woman who bought me and my 40 year old boyfriend a golden scooter off Amazon. 
I tell you what though, this is really helping with the rage. If you have been thinking that the footage in this vlog is a bit weird, I think I've had my camera on the wrong setting. A few times I've noticed it's the wrong setting and now I have just tinkered with the light settings on it and it seems a bit better. Anyway, um, I'll try better. I'll try harder for next week. In about four minutes, I'm jumping on a call. I can't tell you who with or what for. It's not a brand thing. It's just like a life thing. And I'll tell you more about it, but I just wanted to document now on May the 4th that I am excited about a call. <laughs> um, and that's all, that's all. This is mainly for us to just look back on and be like, oh, <laughs> remember when you were almost like hyperventilating with excitement? That's this moment now. Okay, great. This makes no sense to anybody at all. I'm leaving it in. <laughs> the day has escaped me, but I feel great. I have got so much writing done today um, because we've had a bit of help with Pearl. Oh, that's not a good angle, that's just my turns. There we go, work-wise, I've got so much done, I'm feeling really good about that. Um, and I think I'm gonna show you four things next week. I've bought three amazing skirts and one most beautiful calf kids and bag you've ever seen in your life. So, hold your horses, I'm leaving you on a cliffhanger. Next week, those will be the first things I'll show you. I think I'm gonna leave it here. Liam's come home early, as you can, his, 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 uh, this is mowing. This is, this is me signing for mowing. He's mowing the grass. Um, and I think we're just gonna order pizza tonight and chill out. I'm gonna carry on writing and editing and all that sort of stuff. Um, but it's been a good week. Started off ragey, continued ragey, hasn't ended ragey. So I would call that a success. Don't forget that my paperback is out this month um, and I'll leave a link to that below if you'd like to pre-order the paperback for World Like Me. And also I'm having some events for it so I'll leave that link as well for you. And I'll leave a link for the metal straws <laughs> and the adult scooter. And I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.